Hello, it's Becky here, Miss B Travels. I just wanted to share something that happened to me this week. Oh my goodness. I, for the first time in 24 years of adult travel, I lost my passport. I can't believe it. I cannot believe it. I don't even know how it happened. But all I remember is it was, you know, we took an easy jet flight to Amsterdam. I was dropping off my kids with my sister because she kindly promised to spend, you know, the week with them. And um, I didn't even have luggage. I did not even have luggage. I just had hand luggage and a little tote, tote uh, bag with a zip. So, you know, we come out of uh, immigration. We walk over, pick out our bags. We come out, my sister's there. Yay, you know, the kids rush over. We give her a hug and we go, um, you know, we, we make our way out of the airport. And we, as we're sitting outside... Um, waiting for the shuttle bus to take us to the hotel, my sister says to me, hmm, your zip bag is open. You know, the, the, the zip on your bag is open. Why don't you shut that? Because you might drop something. And I just sat down. I thought, oh, OK, yes, I'll, you know, let me just, let me just, let me just shut this thing now. I look in and, you know, when you look at your bag where you look at something's missing and I had this funky green, like, you know, cartoony character passport cover and I thought, I can't see it. You know, so first of all, you kind of like look around you and you're like, mm, have I put it down? You know, I'm looking at my kids. And I'm thinking, OK, so I overturned my bag, look down, no passport, two passports, my wallet, but no Becky passport. I was looking at my kids. I look at their pockets. I look at their jackets. I look at their feet. I looked at my hair. Don't ask me why I was looking at my hair, but I looked at my hair literally just like, where is this passport? You know, so my sister's gone, okay, what have you lost? I'm like, I can't find my passport. And then she said, okay, you know, at this time, I don't want to lie to you. So many things are going through my head. Uh, where have I lost it? Who's dropped it? What if somebody else has picked it up? Oh my goodness. How am I going to get to work tomorrow? I'm working tomorrow. There were so many things that were going through my mind. That was just sheer panic. You know, sometimes you say, oh, just be calm. and whatever. There was nothing calm about it. I travel a lot and I travel with other women. So for me, losing a passport, no, that is something that happens to people that you watch on TV, you know, on a, some documentary that they've lost their passport. I can't lose my passport, right? So I'm just, you know, at this stage, literally, literally, I am panicking. I'm worried. I don't know. And I'm thinking, okay, what, what so many things run through your mind i don't want to lie to you i had so many things thinking oh, i've got a trip we've got a china trip oh my god i have to get a new visa oh my god what about the people you know next week we're supposed to go away with my husband will i have you know my passport back in time i've got work tomorrow i'm flying back tomorrow to work tomorrow how am i gonna do this? it's a sunday but you know what thank god for small mercies my sister was like okay calm down what you need to do that she's giving me advice i normally give to people she's like calm down what you need to do is trace back where we've walked right back to, you know, immigration or whatever until and see if maybe it's dropped on the floor because your bag was open, you know, because, you know, I, I didn't know what had happened. So I kind of like left her with the kids and I started walking back slowly through, you know, Schiphol Airport. I'm looking down on the ground, occasionally looking up at people, you know, and thinking, hmm, did they pick up my passport? You know, you, you, you kind of like start looking suspiciously at people so I'm walking back literally walked all the way back to arrivals you you know you know that little the doors that open for people to come out the ones that you're not allowed to go back in those doors I was prepared to go right back because you know what I wasn't having it I was like I need to find my passport but you know as it goes um as the doors open out comes this um a dutch i'm not sure whether it was an immigration officer or police but he had a uniform on and he is holding a passport like this and i'm like yes that's mine i knew it was mine because i had this funky green passport cover that i had just used on this occasion i so i knew it was mine nobody else would have something as crazy as that right or so, so i think so i was like yes yes it's me it's mine it's mine it's mine and he looks at me like you know okay you know because i i was you know so excited you, you you have no idea and he looks at me and he's like 
Okay. And I'm like, yes, it's me. It's Becky. I gave him my son, my date of birth, and I reread him my passport number. I mean, he's looking at the passport like this, and I'm, look, you know, and I'm reading what he, he can see. And, it, and I'm like, I had two kids. We've just come in from Luton. And it goes, okay, okay. Yes, you know, um, I was about to take your passport to information. They did read it out, and everybody would have known you lost your passport in the office. I think he was trying to be humorous. But I said, oh, thank you. But, you know, for a minute, I panicked. I was like, Oh my God, when I took my passport photo, I had locks. Now I've got different hair. Oh my goodness, I'm trying to, you know, show it. it's me, it's me. But you know what? I am so grateful that it ended well. I was only separated from my passport for a short from a for a short while. Um I know not everybody is as lucky and I know people have really, you know, lost their passport and they're maybe not British travel holders or whatever. They've lost their passport and it's been a, such a hassle to, to, you know, to, to, to recover it back. What I would say is if in the event that something similar does occur to you or you do eventually, you're in a foreign country and you've, you know, you've lost your passport. One thing I'll definitely say is, yeah, stay calm, try and remember where you last saw your passport trace back those steps to say okay this is where i was and hopefully or you you know you might you might locate it report it to the authorities in if it's in the airport if it's in a hotel wherever it is that you last saw it make a report there because somebody might pick it up and drop it back there also report it to the police because of course if you're gonna get a travel document an emergency travel document they do need to see the police report it does need to be logged it is a very important document there's lots of information on there that it is your life really so you must report it to the police and you know for travel insurance purposes if you're gonna have to make a claim because you know you've had to book extra accommodation or whatever the situation might be your travel insurance company would definitely require that information okay so just be careful out there i know you know frequent traveler if it can happen to me it can happen to you i'm gonna put some descriptions of other you know areas that can help you in the link below but please 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 make sure you subscribe share the video i know that you know it's a short video but just to always look after your, your things as you travel I've, I've 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 put in writing as well i've put a little blog about this as well um and another top tip that i would also say is i personally email my passport to myself you know so i have my e my a copy of my passport on a code on my email so if ever you know that you know i did uh, um eventually lose it and never find it i can you know produce a copy all right and also i memorize my passport number just in case i'm in an area where i do not have access to the internet but anyway thank you so much for watching again don't forget to uh like the like the video subscribe share thank you and have a brace have a good day